So Tears of the Kingdom is finally out, and my feelings on it are mixed. But before I start, I just want to say that I can see all the positive attention this game is getting, so I am definitely in the minority here, and while I think my opinion is valid, I can also understand that it is probably the wrong opinion. And because of that, it makes it kind of difficult to express why I'm disappointed with this game. So I think the best way to explain it is to use a game I really like as reference for a game I don't so much. Okay, so the Sky Islands are like base Narwa. The islands are filled with fun and unique mechanics, and they also have quite a bit of diversity in how you both get to them and complete them, but they lack a strong foundation. The Narwa fight is very gimmicky. You go from one room mechanic to the next, but when it comes to the actual fight itself, you could probably give a 5 year old a light bow gun, tell them to shoot the big monster, and they'd still probably get a sub-15. All the special moments come and go way too fast, and when they're over, there really isn't much left. The Sky Islands are too small and too few for any idea or mechanic to go beyond surface level. Most of the cool moments are over in just a few minutes, which is fine for a single monster in a game with around 70, but not for one of the main selling points of your game! Next, the underground is like, uh, T-Rex. All fundamentals, no spectacle. The underground is giant and sprawling, with tons of places to go, with the added bonus of losing your max health every time you get hit. Just being down there and interacting with these base mechanics is extremely fun, but it's lacking that extra kick. Tigrex is a very simple monster. He charges, he slams, he spins. He's a monster that thrives on his fundamentals. But no one's claiming that Tigrex is the most unique or interesting monster to ever be created. He big, he smash. There is no extra mechanics, no fire, no invisibility. Tigrex is simply Tigrex and nothing more. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not. The underground, like Tigrex, is also lacking variety. Everything looks exactly the same, and the enemy camps feel copy and pasted, with almost nothing to differentiate them. Like this is some Ubisoft level bullshit. Next, the overworld feels like a higher Radani Kadaki. Now, Radani Kadaki is one of my favorite monsters. I have fought her for hundreds of hours, and I absolutely adore her. Very similar to Breath of the Wild. Pyre Radani Kadaki is just Radani Kadaki, but more. A tiny bit more. The extra stuff they added to this new Radani Kadaki, while cool, doesn't cause me to like him more than the original, because when I experienced the original, there was nothing like it, and the few new additions couldn't top that initial experience I got from the first one. The difference is, I only had to wait a year to get Pyre Radani Kadaki. Just a few months if you're only counting the time I knew he existed. WHILE THERE WAS A SIX YEAR GAP BETWEEN BREATH OF THE WILD AND TEARS OF THE KINGDOM! THIS IS JUST THE SAME MAP I EXPLORED FOUR YEARS AGO! EXCEPT WITH RANDOM GEOMETRY EVERYWHERE! WHAT IS THIS COOLMAPSCAPES.COM?! Ultra Hand is like your items in Monster Hunter. Yeah, a lot of them are really cool, and can alter your gameplay in fun and new ways, but I am almost never gonna use any of them besides health items, because nothing is as effective as just hitting enemies with your sword. In Tears of the Kingdom, I COULD spend 30 minutes designing and constructing a death laser that will annihilate an entire camp, or I could spend 80 Zonite to recreate a torture Roomba, but using your weapon is not only more time efficient, but also resource efficient. Meaning that I am almost NEVER using one of the main mechanics of this game. Unless I'm torturing Koroks. Hashtag no mercy! Finally, there is an aspect of this game which is like a Bishadden, and that's just seeing what the NPCs have been up to after all this time. And like a Bishadden, while at first he might seem like a relatively small and inconsequential addition, the little things like this are what actually carries the game for me. I was so happy when I found out that Hudson and Rodson had a kid, only to then become heartbroken when I found out she would be taken away from her home due to Gerudo tradition. Watching Sidon become king, seeing Robbie and Pura working together, Bolson moving to Lurland Village, Flower Lady getting peace, Yanobo becoming a drug lord? It's the things like this that makes Tears of the Kingdom worth $60. But man is this game struggling to make up that extra 10! In conclusion, my biggest problem with Tears of the Kingdom is that I just wish there was more. Breath of the Wild was such a game changer, and I wanted this one to be even better! But with hype so big, I don't think there was any way it could have lived up to it. 
In the end, while the sky feels lacking, the underground feels simple, the overworld feels too familiar, and the abilities feel redundant, there is still a lot to love about this game. And while I wish there was more, what we got wasn't so bad. I'm probably just nitpicking and biased, and I really should just enjoy the- wait a minute. WHO THE HECK PUT A GIROTONUS IN MY FREAKING PIRATE AIGANAGI?! Yeah, so the story is like a Jiratotis. I hate them both. So much. Not only does the story disrespect the established lore, it's also a failure in its own right. The characters are bland, the conflict meaningless, and most importantly, very little of it actually connects with the present. The story was the one thing I was the most excited for, as I felt like it could finally bring a satisfying resolution to the conflict between Link, Hylia, and Demise. This is the end of the timeline, it's really now or never, but instead, we got the Cliff Note version of Ocarina of Time! The story is so bad that it brings down a 7 out of 10 game to a 5 out of 10 game for me, and I am extremely disappointed! Wait, shoot, I'm supposed to really suspect a Monster Hunter. Uh, I cannot stress enough how much I hate these both.